All right, Sudan, sorry, time out. Okay, welcome back. All right, so here students in problem number three, uh, wh what they are telling us, they already tell us that the company, the exporter, they export three different type of bananas, okay? And what they want to know from us, they want to know all together, how much is the export? So what we, as we are going to do, students, we are going to do addition or subtraction. Here you can see fresh banana value is 9,490,000. Then dried banana, the value is 590,000. And the third type of uh, banana export, that one is value uh, canned banana. So canned banana value is 12,400,000. Okay, and what they want to know what what was the total value of export goods last month so what we're gonna do students we are going to perform addition or subtraction answer me please yeah. students answer me please what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, what uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna perform addition or subtraction again please subtraction. no we are going to perform addition because they want to know the total value you can see here the total value we have three type of value one two and three and they want to know the total value of export. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna add all three type of uh, uh, export values. Okay, so that means we are going to do addition. Okay, so by ad adding, by adding 9,490,000, and 12,400,000. So all that we are going to add so we are having the answer. So the answer is the total value of exported goods last month was 22,480,000 baht. Okay, students. Now, number four, the fourth problem, what we have here, that one is <coughs> Thai worker, Thai worker moved to uh, 20 countries in Middle East. Okay, total 78,785 in addition. Okay, 13,549 workers in Africa and 16,251 uh, out to the other Middle East, uh, uh, to the other Asian countries. So here we have the Thai worker, they moved to Middle East 78,780 and they having another 13,549 worker moved to Africa and 16,251 workers, they moved to other Asian countries. So we have here three different figures, okay? Now, this is the first figure, the total, right? And to Africa, and other Asian countries, okay? So now what they are asking from us in the problem, how many people, how many more Thai worker moved, to, moved out to Middle East compared to Africa and Asia? Okay, so what we're gonna do students here, they are asking from us, we have the total number, the total number altogether is 78,785. And they're having 13,549 work in Africa, 16,251 work in other Asian countries. And what they want to know? They want to know that in the Middle East, compared to Africa and Asia, how many people they are working there. So what are we gonna do here, students? Here, first of all, we are going to add the workers of Africa 
working in Africa and the people working in Asia, other Asian country, both of them, if we add that, and then we are going to subtract from the total number. So what we having the answer? The answer will be 48,985. So compared to Africa and Asia, 48,985 more Thai worker moved to Middle East. So how we going, how we solve the problem? We solve the problem. We add worker in Africa, the number of that, and the number of worker in other Asian country. Both of them, we add them. The total number, approximately 29,000. We subtract from the total number. Okay, so total number is 78,785. So we have the answer 48,985 more Thai workers out of the out to Middle East. Okay, students, so now the last one. Here, we having the problem, the last one here, uh, the, produce, the produce from a durian, from a durian plantation was sold for 186,000 baht last year, okay? Now, this year, sale is 39,000 baht, higher than last year, okay? Because of a rise in durian price, how much did this year produce sale for? So we have here numbers, two numbers given to us, okay? The first one is, the first one is last year, okay? So last year produced, uh, produce from a durian plant that were, which was sold for 186,000 baht. This was the amount of durian sale last year, okay? Then the second one, this year sale is higher than, uh, this year is, this year sale is higher than last year. So 39,000 is higher the sale than the last year. So we have to figure, Last year sale of durian was 186,000. And this year sale is higher, uh, higher than that. That one is 39,000 baht. So here we are going to add 186,000 plus 39,000, the higher amount. So how much we are going to have? The, the question they are asking here, how much did this year produce for sale? So the total produce for sale is 225,000, okay? This is, uh, <coughs> this is the total amount what they sell this year, right? Now, the last number two, we have here a problem. The problem is a car dealer sold two cars yesterday, okay? The car dealer, they sell two cars yesterday. A black SUV was priced at 1,280,000 baht. This is one car, right? Uh, a bronze salon was uh, priced 375,000 baht, lower than the black SUV. What was yesterday's total sale? So here, uh, the car dealer, they sell two cars. So one car, they sell with 1,280,000 baht. And second car they sell, which is price less, uh, less than the SUV around 375,000 baht. So how much is the total sale yesterday? So we are going to write the work. So the first thing we have to write here, a black SUV was priced at 1,280,000 baht. Okay, then we are going to subtract uh, we are going to subtract uh, 375,000 baht. You can see here, a, uh, a bonze salon, which was priced less than seven, 375,000 baht. So it was lesser amount than the SUV. So we're going to subtract, that one is 375,000 baht. So what is the price of the uh, bronze salon. So we have the price of the bronze salon, 905,000 baht. So now we know two, uh, two uh, value. The first value of the SUV, we already know 1,280,000. And the second car value, 
a bronze saloon was priced 905,000 baht. So now what we're gonna do, we are going to add both of the car value. So by adding both of the car value, 905,000 baht plus 1,280,000 baht. So yesterday sale, we're going to have how much? That one is 2,185,000 baht. So this is the total amount of sale yesterday. Okay, students, you understand that? What we do here, first what we find the price of uh, the uh, bronze saloon car and we already had the price of uh, a black SUV car. So both of the car, we already have the price value and after that we add both of the values. So we having the total sale of yesterday, 2,185,000. Okay, students, now this was all for today in the mathematics. Okay, students, see you again in next class. Until that, take care. Okay, take a rest 10 minutes and then come again. Okay, students? <sighs> okay.